Hello everyone, welcome to another video series of Expert Matters and today we have one of the most exciting new age marketing analyst manager with us. So he's a technological enthusiast with an excellent career in data engineering, cloud servicing, digital marketing, functional and business consultancy and SEO best practice. So a person who is keen in building the bridge between business and technology. He is so much involved in digital marketing, data visualizations, Google Analytics and sales expertise that he's going to share his experience and his qualifications with all of us and brighten us with the details and the insights of the digital marketing field. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's welcome Fez Mohammed Ali. Welcome, welcome to the show, Fez. Hello, Shruti. Thanks for this wonderful introduction. <laughs> I didn't expect this at all. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. So we okay, are going okay. to share your experience with the management students so that they can also learn and brighten their career in digital marketing, of course. Sure, sure. It would be an honor. Yes. Yeah. So uh, let me just ask you, what exactly is digital marketing? Yeah. Uh, so I to give you a start, like my like, let's start with my uh, career perspective. And then why did I choose the, uh, my career into digital marketing? So first I was into data engineering and I was into a corporate company. Then I moved to uh, digital marketing because I felt uh, you believe it or not, even if you have the best product or if you, even if you have the best business that provides the best services, it's all about that market. It's all about marketing that actually enriches your sales funnel. So that's when I actually Actually, real. I wanted to learn about marketing, and that's when I plan to switch a little, uh, a little from my career path from data engineering to marketing. So, but I didn't leave my technical field. So I'm into. I'm I'm working as an analyst as well. So oh. this is why, uh, like the, the this is the transition I did, and I re and I realized that digital marketing in this 21st century is not only just about just selling it on uh, different mediums and like posting different content contents uh, because it's like highly populated uh, place right now where you have a lot of competition and people are like creating a lot more different kind of videos and uh, texts and it's very competitive. So uh, digital marketing in my perspective would be like to communicate the right uh, thing that your product or uh, right uh, value that your product is actually delivering mm -hmm. uh, and try to drive attention uh, through different uh, attractive modes uh, in the sense like even uh, providing offers and uh, providing good even if you want to provide good offers you need to understand what your customer really wants so it involves it's a very vast area like which involves a lot of things like including of from social media until understanding your customer customer behavior and there's a lot more in digital marketing yeah so we are going to dig into digital marketing today what are the areas and types of digital marketing we can you please quickly share it with all the viewers? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I am the if I know that in depth of it, but yeah, there are like many different areas that I have uh, seen across. Like the first area that the first and the foremost area that I went towards was through SEO, uh, which is like search engine optimization, because uh, my foot first landed up into like enriching the sites, getting getting the sites to rank on Google first. So yeah. SEO is the first, like SEO is one part of it, and then you need uh, social media marketing. So these are the areas areas where actually uh, social media and then you have product design all these are like the major areas and which has got its own subcategories and will actually uh, widen up in the upcoming days also so and also product research is also a very important part of the um, digital marketing space yeah right. as far as i'm concerned i'm not going anything theoretical <laughs> <laughs> so it's just my perception of it, yeah. Right, right. So there are so many areas, so many types, and so many domains in digital marketing. Uh, Fez, you must yep. be very friendly that after the pandemic and after the recent mm -hmm. two and a half years, everything has become online. So it has opened the door of yep. internet, yep. of social media, of uh, visual communication, and everything has shifted to online platforms. So there must be some trends, developments, upgradation in digital marketing as well. So we would like to know everything regarding trends, developments and upgradations, topmost changes in digital marketing. 
Yeah. Uh, see, uh, the first and the foremost thing was like when first, like in the early twenties, uh, like in two thousands, like people used to actually, uh, like only like only focus on just delivering like. Uh, marketing or uh, through only through when it comes online people used to just post contents and they used to try uh, writing out uh, or like lending out ads on different blogs and things like that but these days uh, as i mentioned before as it's more populated and more competitive it has got upgraded like just like uh, it is not like always the, like how we had technologies before uh, like getting upgraded at every second and even till today like even if you learn python today and then tomorrow there's a new technology comes up and then it goes all around and then, like, even in marketing like these days uh, there are like new trends and things that are coming up recently i also saw a video wherein it says like seo might not work work as before uh, like as that did work in 2020 even now linkedin has optimized its way of the post views the number of page views is and everything so it's like just like you have to keep reading into uh, digging into the new uh, areas and trends uh, especially when it comes to uh, when you are targeting your audience uh, when it comes to e-commerce it's very very competitive uh, because you have many different products and you need uh, different everybody sells the same thing and you need a new sp to sell it properly so it the trends uh, would be like uh, you need to actually understand uh, like the major tools that you need uh, in the in the current pace i feel is that uh, you need a very good uh, I see your tool uh, to actually understand. And like the, you need a Google trend. You need a Google search console. You need the analytics to actually see what is your trend and what exactly are people going. So you can actually you need to visualize. Uh, you need heap analytics to actually see what exactly is happening in the dashboard hot chart to actually see. So these are the new trends that are coming up daily day uh, every day. So. it's just that uh, first at first it was very difficult to actually even see like okay so the from which page to which page people are traversing and things but these days now it's very easy so it's really important that you need to also have technical knowledge to actually to understand and deliver the get the best out of the tools that's currently available in the market right so right, yeah right. so there are so many areas so many trends digging into which i would like to ask you what are the other domains in with which we can collaborate marketing with yeah that's a very interesting question uh, so like the major domain like the the favorite domain that i like uh, is like the market research part of it because uh, like you can you you need a ma you marketing is very good you can only do marketing only when you know the back bone of it so let me give you an example i was just read i was just going through a video wherein it talked it spoke about how nike actually managed uh, in 2018 uh, in september nike's market was crashed so badly i mean uh, the not the market but the commercial ads were been crashed so badly even trump also had uh, like given a very bad statement brutaling uh, nike on uh, nike as a part of it but even after that nike's business Business skyrocketed, and one, like within the same quarter, it like launched up to thirty-one percentage, and that's around one twenty-nine billion uh, million dollars of uh, of revenue that it improved. So, what made Nike actually? Uh, it actually ran an ad that was actually in support of the black. Just like in twenty twenty, like the George uh, case that we had in twenty twenty. Similarly, in two thousand eighteen, there was two thousand sixteen. There was another case that had happened. So then, but Nike at that time, I had supported the minor minorities in America. So. many people uh, thought that that was not the right act what nike did but it's uh, when nike actually uh, analyzed their market like at the back or end of it and they they understood like because of the market research that they did behind it and they they came up with a very different uh, kind of campaign that's like drive crazy i don't remember the exact kind of her name of the campaign but that campaign actually defines the purpose of nike's uh such commercial so usually as like simon snake also like simon uh i uh, i'm sorry i pronounced his name wrongly but as simon says like uh, he uh, he says like it's always about the purpose what you deliver so people don't want what you deliver but why are you delivering it so it's like the purpose purpose marketing that you need to do so to do the purpose marketing you need to understand okay so who are your age groups and what are your minorities so if you are supporting your minorities like nike supported its minorities so it's like 42 percentage of the minorities like became so loyal to nike that all its stocks skyrocketed even nice. after having such commercials so it was like all at now nike could only do that is only because of the market research 
so and market research will give you a uh, correct uh, you know what i not only in uh, uh, marketing management field but also in digital marketing it will actually give you okay so which feature do you want to roll out uh, which feature do you want to sunset and which feature do you think is uh, going to work out so it's not you don't make decisions with the loudest person in the room but in fact you have data to give the decisions if i am going to use a font it says i i even if the world doesn't like it or my people in my office don't like it i have the data that says okay look the people like it we are getting business out of it so we cannot uh, like that's the best thing that you can say like you have the proper data so we are making revenue out of it so that's a very important key uh, mm. that i feel as a marketing uh, person you need to know analytics a little to actually drive data and these days trust me the tools have become so easy that you can very easily take out data from it so so that's the best thing that i feel one can collaborate analytics with marketing marketing would make him the best combination to understand yeah right so marketing is a ever booming domain and area so it keeps on booming and it is important and essential for each and every organization rather rather it be yeah. financial services or investment services or anything marketing is the core which each and every organization and company would definitely have so are there any particular skills required to be a marketer and if we are talk, when we are talking about digital marketing so are there any particular skill set which are required to be a digital marketer yeah so it depends or uh, like if you are looking for social media marketing you definitely need to be good at uh, some uh, tools designing tools like uh, adobe illustrator or uh, figma mm-hmm. so that uh, you have a very good understanding of it and but if you are looking for being someone like on the social media part of it and you want to be uh, i mean like on the front end of it you need to be a person like shruti that's like you who is very outspoken and is very uh, you you have to engage people in a such a way Thank you. so it depends and then if you looking into a part of uh, seo uh, or any other technical field you definitely need to have a knowledge of the current uh, uh, google analytics or the or the other different kind of tools that you have like hotjar to you need to have a understanding of the tool and as a marketer also you have to send out sometimes an email marketing so newsletters and things like that for which you definitely need a crm system or may for which like uh, you can have also have a uh, hubspot or you can use mailchimp so it's all it's it's in the perspective of one person so if he doesn't want if the skill set like for different field differs uh, differently so if if i am looking to work with uh, hubspot then i definitely or i want to be in the email marketing section of it i definitely need to know all of this but as a marketer as a bunch as a whole uh, you it's best to know all of these uh, right. and to specialize under one mm-hmm. so yeah that's what uh, i think is the nice skill set for a marketer to have right exactly thank you that was very brief and very descriptive at the same time so everybody watching this video must be students so they would like to obviously mm-hmm. every student is concerned about placements that is for sure mm-hmm. so we would like to ask you with reference and with mm-hmm. context of all the students i am going to ask you what are the job positions mm-hmm. available in the domain of digital marketing yeah uh, so there were like there are many couple of positions even in our company we recently hired a couple of people uh, so like the positions like are there for digital marketer can be like a content writer can be a social media marketer or can also be a product designer or uh, can also be uh, a partnership manager or an account manager so all this will actually uh, like as a part uh, I mean, maybe account manager and partnership manager are not that relevant, but yeah, definitely you you have that skill to actually expo, uh, expose what your company is doing to keep it transparent. So yeah, I mean, these are uh, SEO strategists. You have many many different uh, many many different uh, sections like openings that are available on LinkedIn, Indeed, and every other places. So yeah, so. you can i mean uh, <laughs> i don't know like uh, maybe there are like uh, many many uh, openings available so even i didn't know about marketing analysts uh, so until i i joined amplifier so yeah right so, that's how it definitely goes. so we have come almost to the end of the video now lastly one line of motivation for everybody watching this video right now okay so it's always best to go with the fact based world rather than an opinion based world so make your facts correct 
and make sure uh, so as a marketer you need to have the best facts so that's the end liner <laughs> oh wow so, that is great that is great and i But, wish everybody all the very best uh, in the future yeah thank you so much everybody watching that this video and uh, and thinking to become an aspirant of digital marketing definitely they are going mm -hmm. to love this video i hope so if you have any further doubts or questions you can always reach out to me on linkedin i will definitely be so there so what i'll do is i will add your at the link of your linkedin profile in the description so that everybody who is concerned and have more doubts can connect with you definitely definitely yes so it was nice interviewing and talking to you fair thank you so much for being here thank you so much for taking out time for this sure it's my pleasure shruti to have you thank you so much Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.